Hello! With Talon's new data inventory application, your organization can easily collaborate across multiple business and technology functions to strengthen data integrity by centrally organizing data sets, consistently applying standardization rules, and proactively correcting data errors. Let's look at a common scenario to understand how data inventory, combined with Talent Pipeline Designer and Talent Data Preparation, extends your collaboration capabilities and enables self-service across your organization. My company sells products through two channels, e-commerce and a CRM system, which is receiving data directly from the retail stores using a legacy database. I want to have a consolidated and unique view of our customers from both systems in order to run an efficient marketing campaign. And due to these low numbers, I really want to make sure I'm not being misled by unclean, untrustworthy information. First, while wearing my data engineer hat, I'll start in Pipeline Designer. I've configured my two data sets, one from e-commerce and another from the retail store customer data. But Talent Data Inventory has systematically assigned both datasets with low trust scores, indicating some inaccuracies, inconsistencies, and possibly formatting issues. By creating a new pipeline in Talent Pipeline Designer, I can join these two datasets to see how well the customer data matches up. I'll use my Shopify customer's dataset as my source. Within my data previewer, I can see it contains my customers' full names, whereas I know my legacy CRM dataset records my customers' first and last names separately. So to successfully join these two sets of data, I need to first split my source dataset's customer names into first and last. Once I click Save, my data previewer confirms my split was successful. Now I'll join our two datasets using a join component. I'll make sure to select my newly split columns from my source dataset and my last name column from my legacy CRM dataset. Clicking Save reveals the number of matched records between the two datasets. Hmm, between the 50 records, only one customer can be matched between both datasets. That doesn't seem right. Looks like I may have a data quality issue. Let's delete my join dataset and create a pipeline that's a little more intricate in order to find more matches. I know that sometimes last and first name data can be entered differently. Sometimes it's first and last name, sometimes it's last comma first name, and sometimes the names include titles like doctor or miss. Back in my split component, I'm going to instead choose extract full name parts. This allows for a further customization of which fields I want pulled and uses embedded artificial intelligence to intelligently split the name into appropriate parts. In this case, I want title, first name, and last name. I can also choose to display the confidence score for greater trust in the name split function. Now within my previewer, I'm given a solid confidence score regarding the split. Now I want to do some standardizations. I'll add a string component to change all last names to uppercase. With these new components in place, I'll rejoin our datasets and see if more matches are found. I'll select Inner Join, select the same condition fields from the dropdowns, and click Save. Success! Now we have 23 matches, which is much better than one. I'll switch the join type to left outer join in order to consolidate all records. I'll then add a bit of Python in order to use my legacy CRM dataset to fill in any empty source dataset fields lacking emails, account numbers, or country codes for the matching customer. My data records were assigned timestamps according to when the data was entered. I want to convert this messy timestamp to a more reader-friendly format. I'll go with American Standard, and there we go. Last but not least, I want to cleanse the acquisition field. Specifically, I want to fill any empty cells with the text organic. And now I'll send this data into the first pass join Spotify with legacy dataset. 
Once I run my pipeline, my new first pass dataset with all my pipeline components applied appears within my dataset library. And now the trust score is higher than when the datasets were separated and unclean. Even though our trust score improved, there's still room to reach a higher efficiency. I know my teammate, Dave, is the perfect person to pass this task on to. He is a business user who is ultimately responsible for collecting customer data for our company and knows the data best. So I'll share this data set with him. It's as simple as that. Now, acting as my business user, Dave, I can head to Talent Data Inventory and see that a data set has been shared with me. I can dive into my dataset ID card and review a visual representation of the data quality and review specifics on the dataset attributes. By peeking into the data contents, Dave can already see there's some need for further formatting and data quality improvement. So using the data preparation icon within the dataset ID card, he can instantly begin creating a new preparation using this data. First, he can clean up the country codes. Let's make sure all codes are converted from ISO3 to ISO2 within the original column. Since the phone numbers are not needed for our analysis and to protect our customers' privacy, Dave should also mask the phone numbers. Using a semantic function and masking with the random masking mode generates random values within each phone number field, still perfectly matching the format of the semantic type detected. Okay, now he can clear those invalid values. Then within the job industry column, Dave can apply a fuzzy matching. This instructs data prep to automatically adjust any fields that are slightly different to match the most commonly similar fields. Next, I'll simply clear the invalid values within the email column, acquisition column, and date column. It also looks like data prep matched this column of data containing specific geographic locations with a semantic type that matched best, French commune. But I know this column also contains locations in the US and the United Kingdom. So I'll switch my semantic type to text in order to eliminate invalid fields. With most of my invalid fields resolved and my data looking great, I can export this to Amazon S3. Once exported, anyone on my team can head to the list of datasets and review the cleansed dataset. Not only is my trust score even higher, but I can review the clean, standardized, and trustworthy data within my data previewer. Adding my own personal rating can boost that trust score even more. As Dave's teammate, I can review and rate the data, certify it, add a definition, and update any attributes necessary. My team can now be confident in using this data set to drive our email marketing campaign. With clean, accurate, and trustworthy contact data now driving the email marketing campaign, I can see immediate improvements in the dashboard, indicating much improved deliverability of the emails as well as improved click-through and engagement rates, all resulting in a dramatic increase in ROI and reduced churn. Ease your workload, cut down production time, collaborate more efficiently, and instill confidence in your data with Talent Data Fabric today.